What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today I wanted to share a good handful of excellent stealth builds to be using in Modern Warfare 2, because now more than ever, stealth is incredibly important in Modern Warfare 2, and this is primarily due to that UAV bug that still exists in the game, where in most matches, although it is inconsistent, the standard UAV will be showing your location in real time, rather than just a snapshot like it should be doing, and like it was doing before Season 4. So this is why stealth builds have far more power than they've ever had, and if you haven't been using stealth builds since the launch of Season 4, try some of these out combined with the Ghost perk, and I think you'll notice an immediate spike in your performance. And without further ado, this is in no particular order, let's dive right into the list here, and one of my favorite SMGs to use with a suppressor in a stealth fashion is this PDSW stealth build. So with this we've got the Quick Fire Laser, the Hollow Extended Stock, the Bruin Q900 Grip, the GR33 Light Rail, and then finally, and most importantly for his stealth build, we have a suppressor on here. This is the Forge DX90F Muzzle. And this is the only suppressor for this gun that doesn't hurt our aim down sight speed, and since it's an SMG, we don't really want to sacrifice in that area. Unfortunately, this does come with a downside of a 12% reduction to our damage range, but the nice thing about the PDSW is it has a great range profile for an SMG to begin with, and that's one of the reasons I really like it as a stealth setup it can afford to lose a little bit of that damage range, and you can still maintain an excellent aim down sight speed at 234 milliseconds. Also, our recoil control is in a good place here as well, because you are sacrificing the ability to use one of the recoil control muzzles, which do tend to be the best attachments in the game for controlling recoil. And this is why you're not gonna see too many inaccurate guns on this list, because for those types of guns, you really can't afford to be losing like that second tread muzzle or the Bruin pendulum muzzle, for instance. And with all that in mind, we still get a great time to kill potential at 198 milliseconds up close. And this is just a great all around versatile stealth build. And it's definitely one of my favorite stealth builds to be using, especially if I'm trying to be aggressive. As for the next one, let's get into the assault rifle category. This is with the ISO Hemlock using the 300 blackout ammunition. And the reason for that is it just allows for a whole lot more consistency with that three shot kill potential. Whereas without the 300 blackout now after the nerfs, the ISO Hemlock is a lot less forgiving when it comes to that three shot kill range. So with this, aside from those 300 blackout rounds, we're using the one milliwatt pack laser, the RAID 90 stock, the X10 grip, and then finally for our suppressor on this one, we're using the Covert 5 muzzle. And unlike the suppressor in the PDSW build I shared, this one doesn't hurt our damage range at all, and it also has a pretty minimal impact on our aim down sight speed. It only harms it by 34 milliseconds, so that's very reasonable, unlike some of the suppressors that can really kill your aim down sight time. But a big thing you'll also notice here is I had to tune a lot for aiming idle stability because without this tuning, it was really all over the place and this really stabilizes things nicely. But with this build, it's also fairly accurate. I mean, I'm not gonna be using it at extremely long ranges or anything like that. I'm not gonna claim that it's the most accurate gun out there, but it's still quite solid for like mid-range engagements you'll tend to find in 6v6. We've got a solid aim down sight speed here overall at about 280 milliseconds and our three shot kill potential is 40 meters, which is excellent. So this is just a really good, consistent, all-around stealth build designed primarily for those mid-ranges. You don't want to use it right up close and personal too often if you can avoid it, simply because that super close range time to kill isn't going to be highly competitive with SMGs. Now, let's stretch our ranges out a little bit here. I wanted to add some variety to this. Let's have a look at a Tempest Torrent stealth build that I put together here. And with this one, we're using the one milliwatt pec laser, the Slimline Pro Optic, the TT HG40 Guard, the Cronin Groove Shot Grip, and then finally, the FR Titan Silencer. And with that silencer, this is the type that reduces our damage range by 12%, but fortunately doesn't affect our aim down sight time at all. And once again, this is one of those guns that can really afford to lose a little bit of range. It doesn't massively impact the effectiveness of this gun because our one shot headshot range is still 39 meters and our two shot kill to the body range is still 54 meters. Those are both excellent range values. Also, we can see here, it is very accurate after the first shot fired. There is always gonna be that jump after the first shot. There's not much you can do with this gun anyway when it comes to that. And this just leaves us with one fairly big downside, and that's our aim down sight speed in general. This is about 375 milliseconds, which is quite slow, but with this type of build, it's mainly designed for hanging back and picking people off. And if you are playing in that way, aim down sight speed isn't nearly as relevant as the other factors that we built this for. 
Now I'll admit this one doesn't really suit my general playstyle all that often. I just wanted to make sure I was providing some great choices for those that do like this sort of playstyle. And this Tempest Torrent build is excellent for that long range stealth play. After that, let's move back into the SMG category, and another SMG that I feel is well suited to stealth play, especially after all the buffs, this is the Bass P. And with this, it's actually really similar to my Bass P all around build. We've got the Phase 3 grip, the D37 rear grip, the Bruin Flash V4 stock, and the 1 millibot quickfire laser. The only difference here is instead of a Bruin pendulum muzzle, we've now got the Forge DX90F suppressor. And once again, this is the suppressor that reduces our damage range by 12% with no negative impact to any other stats. And again, I think this is well suited to the best P because this actually has the best damage range profile out of any of the other SMGs, so it can afford to lose a little bit of that range. Now with this build, compared to my all around build, we are gonna see a little bit worse recoil control. So I wouldn't wanna stretch into longer ranges, but again, for close to somewhat medium ranges, this recoil is generally just fine. But we do have an amazing aim down sight speed at 205 milliseconds, so very, very snappy. Our maximum damage range is still better than any of the other SMGs at 16 and a half meters. And within that damage range, we're killing in 207 milliseconds, which is a bit slower than the other SMGs, but not by a really large margin. So again, this is just an excellent aggressive option for stealth play, and I really enjoy using this setup. Now let's briefly touch on a shotgun build. I know a lot of people hate shotguns, but I'm gonna provide the option for those that do like it. And honestly, this is the exact same build that I used in my KV Broadside gun guide. With this, we've got the SAMX50 muzzle. This one helps quite a bit with the range on this gun, which is great. We got the VLK stockless stock, the dash bolt 60 bolt for a faster fire rate, the true tack grip, and the 12 shell mag. And with this, we got a great sprint out time, which is really important with shotguns. And it is only really gonna be a one shot kill right up close and personal. So more often than not, I'll treat this as a two shot kill gun. And when you're treating it in that way and coming out of sprint and hip firing and not needing to aim down sight first, this has a great time to kill potential at 238 milliseconds. Seconds. And it is, of course, going to be quite dominant in really close range situations. And with that, this leaves us with one final build I wanted to share for you guys today. And this is with the M4. The M4 always seems to be well suited to stealth play in Call of Duty. With this one, we're using the Commando 4 grip, the Slimline Pro Optic, the Schlager Peck Box 4 laser, and the X10 grip combined with that FSS Covert 5 muzzle, which again is that suppressor that doesn't hurt our damage range at all, and it only hurts our aim down sight speed by 34 milliseconds, and we can afford that with this particular build. This is a nice, well-balanced build with a pretty decent aim down sight speed for a fully built assault rifle at 280 milliseconds. Our four shot kill range is great at 27 meters. And most importantly with this setup, it's very accurate and easy to control. That recoil pattern is very easy to manage. And therefore, in my opinion, this is one of the best and most versatile stealth builds to be using in the entire game. You can pick people off at long ranges just fine, and it holds its own just fine in those closer to mid range gunfights. Obviously, SMGs are gonna be beating you out right up close and personal though. And with that, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video on just a handful of really good stealth builds that I've been enjoying so far in Modern Warfare 2 with that UAV bug present. And as of right now, I'm sticking to stealth builds 100% of the time until that UAV bug eventually gets fixed. Assuming they do fix it, I don't even know if they're aware of it at this point. But that's not gonna stop me from talking about it and trying to work around it here and help you guys work around it. Again, like I said at the beginning, if you are using these builds, make sure you're combining it with the Ghost Perk. If you're not, then you're not really doing anything to counteract that bugged out UAV. And also, just a quick reminder at the end of the video here, do not use integrated suppressed barrels. Those are still broken as well. They've been broken since the launch of the game. When you fire with those barrels, even though they say they're suppressed, like the muzzle suppressors, they will end up disabling your ghost perk for a short period of time, which will reveal your position in real time to enemy players if they have this bugged UAV in the air. And with that, I am curious to hear from you guys in those comments down below. Out of all of the guns in Modern Warfare 2, what is your favorite gun to use a suppressor on? Is it one of these guns that I shared today, or is it something completely different? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.